It's 12 o'clock and it's that time when we all take a moment away from the hustle and bustle of the day to get refreshed meditating on the word of God in season. Welcome to lunch. We broadcast 12 noon every weekday bringing you words from different denominations and helping you fight the good fight of faith. Oh my Lord, sing Instead of lunch, we are meeting Pastor Stephen Brindley from Crossways Community Church in Dartford. Hello, Pastor Stephen. Hello, Nadia. It's a blessing to be here. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank you for having us. It's an honor. It's an honor. Praise God. Pastor Stephen, yes. can you talk us through your prophetic direction for this year, which is the year of the harvest? Yeah. Yes. Um, actually, we got a word this year of uh, the year of the harvest, and we spent all of kind of from October up to December. Uh, first few weeks in January just really waiting on God we knew he was going to do something we didn't know what and then January came and we got the year of the harvest and so we we, we just been preaching and just believing God for great things mm -hmm. and God's just been doing miracles since then we've had loads more people coming through the door just people cropping up from all sorts and mm -hmm. the church has been growing and we've just seen God move spiritually um, and also just in ways you can't comprehend I mean we we um, started a new community project mm -hmm. and uh, cost us quite a lot of money to do so um, and we were just believing God and uh, it's it's a great community project it really gets us in the community talking to the the people we've already had people you know we are only a few weeks in and we've already had people from that community project into church and saved and uh, it's just been an amazing journey but we just saw God you know it cost us quite a bit of money and we just saw God replenish that money out of nowhere yeah. of everything that we'd spent on it had been replenished and it was just amazing and that's just one little snippet and uh you know we're already so far in but god has just been opening up doors and doors and doors and doors yeah. and um yeah it's it's an exciting time uh to be in the church at this this moment it's amen. great amen so when we say harvest what do we actually mean is it finances is it I think it can be everything, you know, um, people saved, to finances, to uh, new jobs, to whatever, to um, new babies, you know, whatever it is, um, growing the kingdom that way. But whatever, whatever it is, um, I think God is just, will use people. And we've just seen, you know, we've had a, a few years where God's been just building up the church necessarily. And there's not really necessarily been the numerical growth, not that that's yeah. the thing that you look for, but it's... Um, uh, and, and God's just been building up the people and now the people are just full of faith and full of expectant of mm. God and uh, it's, it, it, it's such an anticipation Amen. and I think when you get to that moment mm -hmm. God, could, God just moves. Mm -hmm. Uh, 2 Corinthians 9.10 says, uh, Now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. And that's the word we got uh, for, the, for the year. And we, that's what we've just been seeing, God enlarging and increasing and, and just coming through in different places. It's been amazing. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So it's not just finances, yeah? No, no, not at all. Not at all. It's absolutely it's been anything and everything, really. We've just seen God. God move in all different areas. It's only just started and it's so um, been so great to see, you know, new new people coming into the kingdom, new dedications, um, backsliders coming back and uh, to God. And it's just, um, you know, for me, that's that, that's um, that's why I do it, you know, to, uh, for, for people to come back to the kingdom. Mm -hmm. But we've just seen God move in finances, moving in totally different in people's lives with jobs and careers and just universities and doors opening that just were shut before and now they're just, the floodgates are opened. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing. Healings and just um, recoveries. It's just been amazing, amazing. We had one guy who had, um, had a serious diagnosis um, and we were praying and praying and praying and all of a sudden it was gone and they couldn't Amen. see anything Amen. and so praise God and so yeah there's just been little things like that that have happened mm -hmm. and uh, that we're just giving God the glory for and uh, it's, uh, that's what it's about. Praise God. So, yeah. so God has given the word and mm -hmm. then we're seeing the harvest. Do we need to do anything at all to receive this harvest or? 
Oh, do we need to do anything at all to receive the harvest? Um, I think uh, it's part of a blessing that comes, but yes, we absolutely have to um, keep ourselves in check. You know, we have to do what God requires us to do, um, uh, whether that be sowing and reaping and, uh, you know, keeping our, our, our lives in check and making sure, you know, we are um, presenting our bodies holy uh, towards God. And so um, we believe God just wants to bless us. And, um, you know, if, if, if you seek first the kingdom of God, then all these things shall be added. And um, that's what um, we're holding God to for doing great things this this year. Amen, amen, praise God. Yeah, the, the devil is attacking. Yeah. And um, so often in life, that's when we stop. And that's when we run away from God. And that's when we, we hide and we find it actually it's a struggle to come to God when you're hurting. It's a struggle to come to God when you're really, really struggling. When actually that's the time you need to come to God. That's mm -hmm. the time you need to give it to God and give it unto the Lord. And everything we do is has to be by faith. And, you know, even though we can't necessarily see the answer right now, it's coming. And that's where our faith comes in, and we, it is coming around the corner, you know. It might be a struggle at work right now. It might be a struggle in your life right now. Things might be happening, and you can't see the hedge for the trees, you know. You can't see a way out. But God says here, make a way where there is no way, but you've got to seek him first. And I think um, we've just been seeing uh, an amazing breakthroughs in that, just by understanding that, hang on, I, even though I can't see it right now, it will happen, and holding on to the faith. Just like um, the lady in the Bible with the internal bleeding. You know, she, she had the faith and she knew that if she could just touch Jesus, she would be healed. So many people had the faith that they just, if only I can just get there. And sometimes we lose that um, when everything is clouding around, you know, and the winds and the waves are crashing around and we lose focus in our work or whatever is going on in our lives. And I think what we have to do is actually hang on, refocus here, I, can, I know what's going on, the bills are coming in, I've lost my job, I've lost this client, whatever it is, Every, all this is coming in, but I know that God can do, make a way where there is no way. I may not know how I'm going to pay my bill at the end of this month, I'm going to get enough for the mortgage or whatever it is, mm -hmm. but I know if I stick and I concentrate on God, then God will supply my every need. He is with me in the dark times. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for God is with me. And so it's, you know, we've got to understand that when those times come, mm -hmm. when it's tough, and when, it, when in those adversity times, mm -hmm. that we stick with God and God will always come through. Amen. Amen. So is it like when I have problems, it's actually time to seek God more? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, because we want to run. I think we, um, unless it's, you know, real life critical, um, then sometimes that's when you see people run to God because there is no other option. Um, but I think when trouble comes in our lives, we have to seek God because he's meant to be our rock. And, you know, he says he, he'll be with us. And I love that poem of the footprints in the sand, uh, if you've ever heard that. Yeah, and, yeah. and, you know, all, all the times when you were struggling and you could only see uh, one set, it's when he was carrying you. And so we've, I think we just lose focus. And it's so easy to lose focus. A bit like Peter when Jesus called Peter out of the boat. You know, he walked on water, but then he sank. He looked at the waves and the sea crashing around him. Um, and then... Jesus picked him up and said, oh, you've lived little faith. And so often I think we can get in that position where we're just, we can see everything going on around us. But God says, hang on a second, still stay focused on me. Despite what happens, if he's got a plan and destiny for your life, then it's going to work out. Amen. Amen. So it boils down to trust and obey. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, wow. definitely. And sacrifice. You've got you to lay things out. Okay. So it's not as though that when things change, we're going to turn away from God or something. No, no. <laughs> but I think, I think people do, you know, people do. When things happen, um, it's a real, it depends how rooted you are in God. Um, and when things happen, some people, you know, just can't handle it and they, they fall away. Um, but that's where our rooting in God has to be strong. And we have to use our faith and exercise our faith. Um, faith comes by hearing the word of God. So, <laughs> you know, we've got to get in the word and we've got to be rooted and have strong foundations. And then of course, we've got that word, the year of the harvest. Yes. Yeah. So we know that that harvest is coming anyway. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. 
I normally ask our guests to pray over our businesses and careers. Are you happy to pray for us today? Absolutely, absolutely. Father, we just want to pray a year of harvest over every single business. Father, whatever is going on in businesses right now, Father, we pray that you will open doors where, there are, where there are, uh, the doors have maybe been shut before. But Father, now is the time for the harvest. Father, whatever we are believing for, whatever you are believing for today in your business, Father, we pray that it's coming soon it's right around the corner the door is about to open and father we pray blessings over every single business over every single person today in jesus mighty name amen amen, amen. thank you so much for chatting with us today oh, thank you it's been a pleasure thank you <laughs> and thank you for watching please don't forget to share this message and let us know what you think see you tomorrow see you Bye.